We're standing on sea ice, about a metre, 1.7 metres thick, and underneath is probably 20 metres of water before we hit the seafloor. We are here doing some environmental surveys for the Davis Aerodrome project. So we're doing marine environmental surveys uh, all around the Vestfold Hills, which is a largely unexplored area. Okay, in the water. You know, we've got onboard cameras, uh, we've got laser scalers to measure the size of things on the seabed. So we've got polychaete reef here, mate. All of those different kinds of organisms you'd normally see on a reef in Tasmania or southern Australia, they're here. They're in different communities, different sizes, colours, shapes, um, and there's a, obviously a lot of them here are not found elsewhere. They're endemic to Antarctica. All of the organisms here are endemic to Antarctica. They stretch from the surface down to 30 metres, much like coral does really. They're amazing, they're real biodiversity hotspots, they're just crawling with life. I reckon there must be billions of sea urchins in Ellis Fjord. <laughs> everywhere you look there's a sea urchin, crawling over the polychaetes, all over the in rocky habitats, everywhere. That's one of the biggest excitements, is that we're popping this thing down through sea ice and we don't know what we're going to find. Recording. And we do know that nobody's ever been to this site before. So we know that when we do see it, we're the first people to see it. You're like explorers, you know? You're the first people to look in these places properly and document what's here. The fjords, particularly around Davis, they're, they're really extensive um, and we know barely anything about them. 